So hi everyone, I'm Pauline. Uh, in today's interview, we are welcoming Marcel, a successful Amazon seller from Germany. He will share with us his journey, tips, and the challenges of selling on Amazon in Europe. Plus, he will discuss his experience with Repricing Central. Guten Tag, Marcel. How are you? Oh, hi, Paulina. Thank you very much. I'm fine. And thank are you, you for fine? inviting right. me to the interview. Yes. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Would you like to briefly introduce yourself to our audience? Yes, I can try to. I'm Marcel Erdmann. I'm 40 years old and yes. I live with my wife and two children in the north of Germany in Stolpe. It's between Hamburg and Kiel, I think. And I started with Amazon and e-commerce in the year 2021. All right. What made you get into the e-commerce business? Yes, main job is in hospital as a nurse. All right. And uh, you know, the working conditions there are terrible. Or you can think the night shift isn't good for any kind of work-life balance. And I got mm. the chance to reduce my working hours in hospital without losing too much yes. uh, salary. And this gives me the time to think more about my professional future. And All right. I was always looking for a way to incre uh, increase my income and reduce my active working hours. Working less means getting more, uh, more chance to spend time with my family. Yes, true. And e-commerce gives, uh, gives me the opportunity to build my own business alongside my main job. The most important point for me is the chance to build and to scale my own business in a way that would be unthinkable in a nine to five job. Oh yeah, I, I understand. And um, how did you start your own Amazon business? And are you dedicated full-time to your Amazon business? Yeah, as I started in uh, 2021 mm -hmm. yes. with an idea for my own private label business. I wanted to create my own products, build my own thing. And I started my own company, Special for Life, and created yes. my own brand, Lokidu. With a little help of AMZ Ventures, I booked a coaching there. Mm -hmm. I developed my own product. It was a party game made of bamboo called Ring Toss Game. Very nice. It was very uh, funny, but at this moment i'm not producing this product anymore maybe i will do all right again later mm -hmm. but uh, in 2022 i got some or many problems with import conditions disagreements with manufacturers safe conditions oh. on amazon all right yeah. it was really sad corona problems uh, were a big point for every seller i think for me too and i thought uh, about the situation for a long time and at the end of 2022 i tested a new model, online arbitrage. I think private label is a very good model, but uh, to create mm. a base for a successful business, online arbitrage is definitely the more efficient way, I think. And mm -hmm. on top, you can create your private label business or anything like this, but for the base, it's definitely useful to go another way, I think, in my opinion. Yeah. And my business was already established. In spring 2023, I focused on my online arbitrage business model. And mm -hmm. now, one year later, I have a turnover of around, I think, 160,000 euros. I got my first employee and I got a growing scalable business. And don't forget, oh, right. at this moment, I still work part time. And maybe uh, yes. next year, as you, as you I will switch. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Maybe oh, next year I, I will switch to full time. Oh. I try to, but uh, All right. this year I got no time for switching because the fourth quarter is coming and I definitely have to focus on it yeah. to get the best results. But yeah, maybe true. next year I can switch or I try to mm. switch. All right. According to your own experience, would you say selling on Amazon is worth it? And if so, do you have some suggestions to help sellers uh, kickstart their Amazon journey? Uh, yeah, I would definitely say that selling on Amazon is worth it. Uh, it will be a little harder because you have more competitors. I think it's more easy to start your own business at Amazon, but uh, it's the best way to get into e-commerce. It's definitely the best way to get into e-commerce. And True. my best advice that make it easier for sellers is to contact someone who has already been down the path you want to go. Yes. Uh, I don't want to sell a coaching, but I recommend taking this mm. this route because it makes everything a lot easier when there's a background you can ask. Yeah, true. As a European seller, are there any significant challenges you face when reselling products uh, within the European market and more specifically uh, in Germany that you would like to highlight for our audience? 
it seems that the biggest difficulties uh, for sellers yes. are selling within the whole EU, also the whole European market. Different taxes, different rules. In theory, it is easier than we think, but it can uh, be scary yes. to take this step. Nobody wants yeah, to get sure. trouble with the tax office or other <laughs> authorities, yeah, but exactly. there are many potential sales outside Germany and I have already had some of them, but right. I'm very uh, cautious too. This will be the next biggest step for me uh, to grow my business, to expand to EU, not in the little way I, I use it uh, now for now. Prime Day is coming soon. What advice or tips would you offer to veteran sellers for making the most of this uh, major sales event? The best advice I can give uh, is to set up Amazon advertising in yes. an easy way for, for online arbitrage. I'm at, uh, Amazon advertising I know already from my private label. Therefore, it's yes. necessary, de definitely necessary. But for online arbitrage, you don't need to, I think. But your turnaround, your workflow is pretty much better if you uh, take an easy way with Amazon advertising, low costs and bring you many advantages. Are you currently using Biko and why uh, have you chosen Biko uh, software? Uh, yes, I use BQ mm. and I absolutely am satisfied. Yes. Due to the amount of tasks, I forgot uh, to set up my repriser in the past. Oh, okay, and I see, yes. I was, yeah, I pay, paid for a repriser, but I didn't use it, really. Oh, and, uh, okay. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. horrible. I was looking for a repriser that can automatically put my new products under a repricing rule yes. uh, without me having to do anything. Mm. And in BQ, right. I found it. I, I liked uh, using it All right. and it works great. My products come into my seller central and the minimum and the maximum prices and the rule are automatically filled in and the repriser right, starts yeah. working. That's ah, pretty, pretty wonderful. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then I can uh, enter my costs whenever I have time to enter them, but my mm -hmm. repriser is still working. All right. What are your favorite repricing strategies so far? Now my favorite regular strategy is the AI match boost profit. Yes. I think all match profit rules are, are nice. Usually I don't want to fight for the buy box because that destroys any profit for all sellers. And therefore and... I regularly use the boost profit. I think. Do you have any pro tips for using Biku Repricer to help seller maximize their buy box win rate or profit? I think sometimes you need to switch mm -hmm. to a win buy box strategy to maximize your win rate and profit. All right. For me, it's the best to switch my match buy box strategy to a win buy box strategy, uh, depending on the age of my inventory. The older your inventory oh. gets, the sooner you need to switch. I think. Mm -hmm. And with conditional repricing rules, I can uh, take with BQ, it is possible automatically. What qualities or mindset should a seller possess to be successful on Amazon in Europe? <laughs> yes, I think uh, the best mindset is to see the sun in the distance instead of the rain in this moment with few rays of sun, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> great. Yes, Amazon, it's, it's a path with many small and big stones to yes. overcome and yeah, exactly. find a path for you that gives you confidence. Look at your goal that you want to, to achieve every year, yes. every month, every week, every day, and mm -hmm. always yes. think about your goal, not uh, the problems. I think that's yeah, the exactly. best advice. Mm. All right. Can you provide insights uh, into the Amazon seller community in Germany? Uh, are there any notable groups or forums uh, specifically uh, for German speaking seller that you would like to recommend? Oh, yes. I yes. really want to thank my coaches, uh, Phil, Zebo, yes. Lucas and Marvin from Happy Arbitrage for their mm. help with my business. And All of right. course, my whole community, especially Luke, my little Padawan. <laughs> Mm -hmm. who is not so little anymore, but uh, we started a few <laughs> right. months ago. And mm -hmm. Happy Arbitrage is, the, in my opinion, the very best coaching uh, for online arbitrage you can find in Germany. Our whole uh -huh. community has the best attitude and support for you. And if All you right. want to grow and get the best helping for your online arbitrage business, um, go to happyarbitrage.de 
look for their YouTube channel or send me an email for more information and discounts at uh, info at specialforlife.com. The name right. must contain the number four, not the letters, please. <laughs> <laughs> And right. then we can talk about, I can tell you something again uh, about it and they will help a lot, pretty much. All right. Thank you for watching our video today. Stay tuned for our next video. More great content coming soon. Until then, happy selling and tschüss.